Hello guys, it's been a long time since I uh, post a video and today um, I'm trying to show you guys how to um, cool, how to cool your, um, your mo modem or your router down uh, so that way you avoid to uh, reset it like every month, you know, uh, you have to reset it 10 seconds, disconnect it and stuff like that. So. Today I'm gonna to show you to not reset it for like a year. You're gonna stay for a year without resetting the um, the uh, router. The only thing um, we're gonna do, we're gonna cut a hole right here and we're, not, we're gonna put a uh, fan to cool this thing down for uh, so it stays longer uh, period of time, you know, running without needing to be reset it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut this and guys, if your router is out of warranty, I mean, might as well just cool it down, right? Because uh, it's out of warranty anyway. So, so open the big spot, you know, if you want it, it, you don't have to do it, but if you want it. So we're gonna have to start to tear it up apart, this thing. There you go. So we started already. There's the other two bolts. There's right here. So we're gonna start to um, to open it up and see if we can uh, if we can do if if there's a chance that we can replace the the uh, processor paste on this that will be awesome. If no, we just let it let it be like like how it is. So this is how this thing looks. Let's get a little bit of a light. So the processor is, is hold it. Wow, the processor is hold it by, uh, by a nice, um, nice, um, oh wow, storage bit. Hold on. If you can replace, you know, the processor paste, that will be awesome. But this, this type of router has a, like, a, let me see if you guys can see, like a little pin, and then there's notch it there, you know. See this one? It's like pressed in. So this will be hard to replace. But all the routers has a processor. So the cooler, the better. So. We, we need to put something to cool this thing down. So let's go ahead and try to um, see from underneath, see if we can uh, if we can access to those pins. If no, uh, we're just gonna cut the hole on the other, the other piece. Solder pins. So I was able to unsolder one just to see. Up it like me. Guy <laughs> white, you know, like do it yourself and like try. But it has plate. For like covering this little tiny so more is for more you know information but there's the processor let me see if i can zoom in there's the processor so the pace didn't look that bad I don't know. I really don't like how that looks like. So I'm gonna see if I can invent something for that. So, so the heat gets transmitted to this more equally, you know, because this is not. This is uh, like since the paste was good on this one, I just add a little bit more to like, you know, and I was looking for something like this to put like in here. Out the bottom plate. Better. 
But I ended up like just polishing the bottom of this so it can transfer better heat. So I'm just going to add more um, butter. So let's see. Guys, um, I did replace the paste. I soldered it down. I noticed this chip has a uh, air, so I was like, uh, let's just put something so it kind of helped the chip a little bit better to cool it down. So I have this uh, little heat sink. It works perfect in there. We're gonna put this back together. Again, this is um, my type of rotor, so yours might be different. So. Uh, I got this fan right here. I think it's a 12 millimeter or something. I don't know. I um, connect the USB to the end and I connect the wires. So plug it to the own, the um, own. Got the product <laughs> finished right here. So this, we don't need this anymore. So now, um, this is our cut, not perfectly circle, but it's all right. We don't need to be um, perfect because this will be underneath. So the um, the point for this is to cool the processor down on the router so you don't have to reset it every month or every once in a while. When you do this, like like um, expanding the life on the, on the router. So this is how it's gonna look. Uh, again, this is uh, for me. It's an old rotor, so I don't really care that the the warranty is already expired. So, if anything happened to this rotor now, I'm just gonna have to buy another one because uh, the warranty is out. So I think I got it like a year and a half old. So maybe that's why um, the processor paste still look good on the chip. Uh, I only took the big one out because. Um, this one is good. The other two are good. So this is type five, type six, uh, Wi-Fi six or whatever. I don't know. But here, it, this is a modem and a rotor at the same time. So it makes uh, two jobs. Okay, so here is the final product. Um, so, and I'm gonna show you guys a um, couple, I'm sorry for the fan noise that I have here. This is a solar fan that is like sucking hot air. It's to outside. But anyway, cut that. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys a couple projects that, I mean, I. How I always done it. So this is another one that I done it before. Uh, this was not enough because um, I upgraded, upgraded to better internet. So then I got rid of this one. This one I attach it with screws. You guys can see from from the back. So I didn't use no glue, but there's no point to put screws. I mean, if you can find double face tape, you can do it. So this is another. Um, I do like net, net gear a lot. Um, right here, a better, better than the the that one. So I I upgraded to this. I think this was like, this was like 300, 400 uh, megahertz or gigahertz, whatever. So I put this one in there. Never had a problem. So, um, this I'm just want to show you guys. So I did this. I like I uh, hurts and and makes holes in there. So that I mean this this thing definitely works. I fully recommend it. Do you guys do this? Um, so since I um now I got more internet, you know, I think it's six hundred or something or eight hundred. I don't know. 
so this one can can handle that speed for more devices and um I think i'm gonna upgrade it pretty soon i don't know but for now this is uh been working and um uh, it's a, more than a year old so that's why i do this but if yours is new don't do it <laughs> don't do it just in case that that uh, router fails don't do it so after a year you can you can do this trick <laughs>